Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome everyone. This is Mahmoud Jamil. Today I am here to show you something very special. We are at Dhaka University of Engineering and Technology, Gazipur. This tall, beautiful monument behind me is called the Shohid Minar, which means Martyrs Monument in local language. I am very excited to share its story with you. But before we start, I'd like to give you a quick plan of what we will do today. First, we will take a look of the whole Shohid Minar from a distance. Second, we will know about the history of Shohid Minar, why it is here. Third, we will know the name of the architect who built this amazing structure. And the last part, we will take a closer look of the artwork that is located in the behind or background wall of my position. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, let's jump into the past. This monument is called the Shohid Minar because it was made to remember something very important. In 1952, people in Bangladesh wanted to protect their Bangla language and culture. This was a big deal. The most special day was February 21st, 1952. We still celebrate it as International Mother Language Day. That is why this monument is here to remind us of the love for our language and culture. And guess who designed this beauty? It was an architect named Shomen Hazra. He had a big job because he needed to design something that tells a story. And believe me, he did a wonderful job. Dear viewers, now let's get a closer look of the paintings that I have mention that I will show you in the background wall. Now take a closer look. There are two women who are working. One woman is creating pots from mud and uh, there is another woman who is getting out of dust from rice husk. Uh, there is a bush of straw or hay. There is a man who is hammering something to create a sharp things, sharp material. Uh, there is a woman who is creating threads from foam and uh, this picture this picture tells a good story of Bangladeshi history uh, this picture here in, in this picture you may see that Rashtabhasa uh, Bangla Chai it is written in Bangla language which means our national language must be Bangla this picture represents the incident happened in 1952 that I have mentioned you earlier in this video. Now, take a look here. It is the basic structure of Shohid Minar or Martyr Monument. You may ask that, yes, we have um, shown you the structure of Shohid Minar, which, which, which is quite different than this. Yes, I agree. So, Shohid Minars are, cannot be all the time that like this. It is a basic structure, but we can also built in other structural forms. Now here, uh, this picture represents the liberation war of 1971. There are women's, men's, both genders are uh, carrying rifles and participating actively in the liberation war, which was uh, took place, which was taken place in 1971. Now there is an important photo of our national father who declared that Bangladesh will be a country. So his name is Bangabandhu Sheikh Mojibur Rahman, he is the father of the nation. And uh, this is called Sridi Shaudo, is also uh, another part of our national memory. Uh, this is called National Memorandum, Sridi Shaudo in uh, local language. Um, there are some, there is a uh, mother with, he, with her son and uh, there is a singer called Lalon Shah. His painting is also here and we can see a tree here and there is a fisherman who is trying to catch fish and uh, later on this fisherman has some big fish here okay and uh, last two paintings shows that there is there are two women who is who uh, who are collecting teas from the tea gardens and the storing in their back pots or backpacks whatever you can understand so this was the explanation i mean closer explanation of the background wall woodwork paintings i hope you have enjoyed now let's get to the front portion again in the end remember this the Shohid Minar is not just a thing made of bricks and stones. It is a symbol of how much our language and culture mean to us. It's like a big hug to our history and our roots. Dear viewers, 
Thank you all for joining me on this special journey. Until we meet again, take care. Never forget to cherish your language and culture. Allah Hafiz.